Welcome back guys. So let's create a sketch on our 2D background and I'm going to start working on some of this detail here. So let's go to create slot center to center slot and we'll just start from this point to this point and we'll just drag out and click for a third time to create that shape. And now we can double click to select the entire sketch and we'll just pull this forward a bit. Now what it will do is use our line tool and we're just going to follow this reference. So here, 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 and here. We're going to be splitting this body by that shape. So we're going to go to finish sketch really quick after adjusting this line because that looks a little bit off. We're going to finish sketch. And let's go to modify split body. And we'll split this body by this line here we created. And we'll go back to the sketch and we're going to toggle that back on because once you use the sketch, it turns off automatically. And now we're going to go to create emboss. We're going to emboss this profile here on this surface. So we can just dial this back and we want it to have a nice little inset so we can cut that off. Now it looks good. Now we can turn off that sketch. And let's select this bottom half surface here so we can right click, press pull, and we'll just pull this in to offset it. So it adds that complexity to it and looks more realistic. Now we'll combine these back together, ensure it's unjoined, and let's hit OK. Now let's go back to the front view. At this point, we could just go to Create Sketch and start working on this uh, pipe wire thing that goes through. But instead, I want to select this body here over in the layers and Control C, Control V to duplicate that. And we're just going to move this to match the reference. That's good right here. So to finalize that, let's hit OK. And now we can go to Create Sketch, select our 2D background, and now we can use a spline to make the wires. So we'll use this spline here, and we'll start from somewhere in the middle of this. Click here, click here, 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 and finally let's end it right over here. Now we can right click, hit OK, and we can finish Sketch. Now let's go to Create Pipe. And we're going to select the wire we just created with the spline. And let's rotate around so we can see the arrow so we can upscale this a bit. So somewhere around here. And let's change the operation from cut to new body. And next I want to uh, isolate this. So I'll right click on the body layer and go to is isolate. Now what I'll do is select the surface here and create a sketch. Now I'll use the offset tool here to mimic this circular shape and just make it a little bit bigger than the original. Right click it OK. And I'll use the circle diameter circle from the center point to somewhere around here and make that smaller than the original like shape and size. I'm going to shift select both of these outer edges. Right click, press pull. And I'm just going to pull this down somewhere around here. That looks good. So let's change this from cut to new body. And now let's turn back on that sketch that we did to create the pipe. So we're going to go down to the bottom, toggle that back on, and let's go to create, pattern, pattern on path, and let's change it from faces to bodies. Select the new body we created, and the path will be that spline. Well, actually, I didn't turn that sketch on, so let me turn it on here. And now we can select that path of that spline. And we'll just drag the arrow down to follow it. And we have to make a couple more adjustments. So let's go from identical to path direction. So that's going to follow it in the same correct manner that we actually need it to. So let's toggle back on the concept so we can kind of see what we're doing. And let's change the quantity from 3 to something around like 20. That looks okay. Let's hit okay. Now we're going to combine these. So we're going to go to Combine, select the main pipe, and then secondly, select the first little body, and then shift select the last one. And let's change it from join to cut, and let's hit OK. And you can quickly see we have that shape we want. And now we can right click and unisolate this pipe or wires. And we could toggle off this sketch, but we're going to need to turn it back on here in a, in a bit. So let's right click on the body and I want to just move this because like if we kind of look at it from the side, it looks like it's lined up. 
but if you go and rotate it a bit you see that it's not actually lined up so let's just change the pivot to be the center point and now we can slide this down to go inside this section here and let's hit OK to finalize that and that looks good but I think we can make this look a bit more interesting by adjusting some of these points and this is where Fusion 360 is unmatched so we can just select this point here since your sketch is turned back on and you can move this and it happens in real time so we'll move this here and let's select another point and you see it quickly updated that now we have that curvature here so I'm just selecting some of those points that we used on the spline and I'm adjusting it and manipulating this to I to my to my needs and this can be crazy to wrap your hand around the first time but since you get used to it, it's gonna be like second nature now what I want to do is toggle that off because I don't need it anymore and we're gonna create a sketch select the 2d background and we're gonna rinse and repeat for this uh, second wire here so we're gonna choose a point somewhere in the middle of here select another point another point another point right around here another point here and one thing is you don't want to make too many points because it's going to be a bit harder to manipulate later on so just do around maybe five six and we'll end it here now we're going to finish sketch go to create pipe and let's rotate so we can change the scale and the thickness of this and that looks good right around here so we'll change that from cut to new body once we're satisfied and yeah, no, that's good a new body hit ok now we're going to isolate this so right click on the body go to isolate and now we're going to repeat that step so hopefully seeing this again it's, it's making it a lot easier to see what I'm doing so I'm offsetting this and this will be the uh, the outer edge of the ring and then we're going to go to circle diameter circle and from the center point make an even smaller circle here right click hit OK now I'm going to shift select these inner inner rings here now we can right click press pull and we'll just bring this up or down whatever you see fit to create that little ring shape I always do it down because it's easier and I'll change it from cut to new body now go back to my front view and toggle back on well let's go to yeah let's toggle back on that that sketch we just created because we need that spline to be our path so let's go to create pattern pattern on path ensure it's on bodies and let's select this little ring here and the path will be that spline and let's just drag this blue arrow down here and wrap it around somewhere around here let's change the orientation from identical after changing the quantity to around 23 20 let's change from identical to path direction let's hit ok and let's combine the main pipe with this first little ring here and we'll shift select the last one so we can select them all and let's change to cut and that looks great guys so let's right click and unisolate this so we can see what it actually looks like and we have a little bit of collision Oh, actually, nothing's actually colliding, so that actually looks good. But you know, we can just uh, adjust some of these, some of these vertices to look good and to match. So let's grab this first one here and just pull this closer. You know, grab this top one as well. Well, we don't really need to adjust the top one because it actually fits, and we can easily split this later on. So let's just go and select another vertice if we need to. Yeah, I don't know. Should we adjust another one? Yeah, let's adjust another one. Let's do this last one here. And select this one. Let's slide that right around here. Give it an interesting shape. And we'll just move this around. And this is so amazing, the, the fact that I can just do this and adjust my sketch, which is ultimately affecting the body's form and shape. So whatever shape you feel comfortable with, do that and then just press OK to finalize that. And we'll just rotate and see how this looks. And I think I'm happy with these results.
This isn't bad. That looks kind of close here, so I actually will adjust this last one. So I'll just move this and dial this back a bit to give it some breathing room. Let's hit OK. And now it's updated. There you go. Now let's go back to the front view. And we can toggle off that sketch.